Hello, this is the video for the cross site request forgery attack lab. Uh, on the first task, we need to observe some HTTP request with the Firefox add on called HTTP header live. And to do that, we need to use. I'm going to sign in with the Bobby account. But to see the get the post request clearer, I'm going to save the file, open it. So we can get the post requests. And some get requests. Uh, this is almost like a packet sniffer like Wireshark. Just like with an add-on for the web browser. And for the second task, we are going to use the cross site request forgery attack uh, to make Alice add Bobby, even though she doesn't want to. I'm going to log in with Bobby credentials. And I'm going to edit his profile. So, yeah. And then I'm going to save this. Or we can look at the post request over here. Because we need to get the ID from Bobby. And I think that it should be at the end of this post request. And here it is. The user ID for Bobby would be 43. So now that we know his ID number, we can go and check our program. This is an HTML file that basically is just using the image as using the URL as an image to make all this at Bobby without his her consent. And we can do that right now because the time step and the and the token are not being validated validated right now, so we don't even need to include them here on the get request. That's going to be uh, in the URL. To continue with the attack, we need to make a post on the block with Bobby. We can put the title we want like. Like games, <clears throat> and here we can put great games. And here we just include the URL that we are giving in the lab. Save it. There it is. We can log out from the Bobby account. Oh, and this program needs to be in the right uh, directory. It needs to be on www csfr and attacker. That should be the file. So then we're going to log in with all these credentials. And even though this says that uh, Alice is friends with Bobby, it doesn't appear on the friends list. So close activity and clicks on the link from Bobby. And there was some missing data. We can just put like games, great games. And here in the body, we're going to include the URL that we're giving from the lab on the attacker side. Save it. 
now. And we need to make sure that this program, the index.html, it's in the right directory. It needs to be here on bar, www, csfr, the attacker, and this should be the index.html program. Then we can log out from the Bobby account. We can log in with the Alice. And then even though it, it here says that Ali has become friends with Bobby, he's not on, his, on her friend list. So we can go ahead and click on activity, click on the post that Bobby made, and then click on the link. And that's not the web page that we were expecting. But over here it says you have successfully added Bobby as a friend. So you go and check. And there is. And for the <coughs> third task of the lab, we need to do the Alice. Uh, this brief description would be Bobby is my hero, even though she didn't write it. Or so we can log out from here, and we can go to Bobby account. Then we do the same thing that we did before. The edit profile. Click the P. And we clear the HTTP. And we save it. We go to the post request over here. And this is our these are the parameters that we need to include in the post request to make Alice uh, make her state as Bobby is my hero a token a, uh, right now the program is not validating the token or the timestamp so we can easily just use whatever it over there and it should still be able to overwrite the uh, Alice profile And the program that we're going to use, it's this one. And now I'm going to comment this part. That go to the end. Since we're not, we're not gonna use it anymore. And here, this is the second attack. We're using JavaScript uh, for the vulnerability. And these are the fields that are going to be included on the post form. The ones that we were looking at over here. This one's the token, the time step. I need to do the uh, that these values are the same thing, just changing the description uh, for what we uh, want to write. So we go to the code, and everything should be the same. I mean, the token and the time step doesn't matter, it could be anything. The name value should be Alice because we are trying to change Alice profile. And the description values would be Bobby is my hero. So everything else would be the same. We're just creating the post form. We're redirecting the URL for um, for the action profile we did. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, and the program will execute when Alice opens the web page. So we save this program. We need to restart the Apache server. Uh, 
time we restarted. So we can go ahead and check. Over here. I mean, we can still use the same posts from Bobby. Now we go and log into the Alice account and go to the post. Maybe it works now. I don't know. And then your profile was successfully saved. And the brief description from Alice is Bobby is my hero. So the attack was successful. And the for uh, for the fourth task, we need to implement a countermeasure for the attack. So we're going to, uh, and the solution is going to be on over the over here. Engine classes. It's this one. We need to you to look for the gatekeeper function as the lab manual instructed us. And over here, here's where the we need to comment this line because here in this part of the code, it's where the token and the time stamp gets validated. So commenting that line and then saving. If we try to recreate the attack, like going to activity, I mean, we can go to. At least profiling change her brief, brief description. Save and uh, go to the post from Bob. And the attack should go, but shouldn't be able to change her value for for the brief description. But you will look. Here the server detected that the time stop and the token were not the same ones from Ali, so it did not change. The description. And that's what's it for the lab. Thank you.